the couple of things about this tree that um, that um, I like is uh, it has a lot of dead wood. Here in the picture, and then um, the branch going going lower, going down, and but a couple of the problems that I see with this tree is that all the bark is uh, most of the bark is in, is in the back, it's on the back of the tree. So I just um, what I want to what I want to uh, help is trying to decide the front, which branches to keep. I am trying to decide what to do with this branch. And it feels a little, it feels heavy on this, uh, on this area. Um, the last thing is, do I need to change the angle of planting? Do I need to move it up and uh, change the angle a little bit? Uh, I mean, any, any feedback from you would be strongly appreciated. Okay. So if you'll rotate the tree uh, uh, clockwise about 20 or 30 degrees, yeah, right about there is fine. So the branch on the upper left, I think, needs to be removed. Uh, after reviewing the information before our talk, the largest okay. branch on the left side, so basically the one that's going straight up and then towards us, yep, down to the shoot on the left side, that's correct. So that whole branch needs to be removed. Okay. Uh, down to the baby shoot. Uh, you could leave like a two inch or three inch stub on there for now, just to encourage some more growth. But I think that whole branch needs to be eliminated. Okay, perfect. I will go for it. Okay. So the tree was a little bit complicated before then, and now that that branch is shortened, it'll bring the focus in on the cascading branch. So if you turn the tree a little bit more, yep, uh, counterclockwise. Yeah, there you go. Right. So the base of the tree, you can see it a lot better now. And the actual front of the tree will likely be where you just had it. But looking at it at this angle without the heavy branch, you can see all the dead wood. You can see the character of the tree. The problem is now, if the canopy is too big and leggy, it'll look like a, a, a sucker or a lollipop or something. A big ball-shaped head of foliage and then a thin trunk connecting it to the big base. So we're going to need to bring most of the branch structure back and away from the viewer towards the side of the tree with all of the rough bark, but the front will be on the side facing us. So we'll okay. swing all those branches to the back and then fan them out and then give it some more depth. And you were saying that uh, to remove this one, right? This one. Or, at least, or at least shorten it. Mm. It has it has lots here, so... Yeah, that, that will be fine there. Oh, okay. So, so the real the real draw of this tree is how wide the base is at that one angle, and how gnarly the tree is, how much character it is. So if you keep turning it a little bit more counterclockwise, uh, bringing the foliage towards the front, the real character of the tree is right in there. Okay. On the bottom left of the tree, there's the big burl closest to your pruners now, and the more that we can hide that flat edge of that, the better. So by turning it a little bit more um, clockwise, it'll work. Yeah, there you go, more like that. So this tree's gonna be really fun to find a pot for too, uh, but the planting angle of the tree, that was one of your primary questions for this talk was, what should the planting angle be? And I feel like where it's at now is pretty close to where I would put it. You could actually lift up the left-hand side of the tree, the side where your pruners are placed. And I think it might help a little. About another four or five degrees, yeah. Something like that might be even better. Okay. Perfect. Um, where, where do you think that we, uh, the apex of the tree would be? It would, it would be more, more like, like this area? Yes, definitely. Uh, so I feel like on that tree, about halfway from... There's the top curve of the deadwood, where the actual the tree starts to bend straight down. About halfway between the highest point of deadwood and the outer edge of the canopy is where I would end the canopy. So reducing the actual overall length of the branch is visibly by about half. Okay. And then bringing what we're going to do is we're going to sweep the branches that are longest in the back of the tree now back towards the trunk, 
and then the front of the tree will shorten those branches. Yep, so if you'll spin at 180, thank you. So, so maybe more back? Yes, so the longest, lowest branch uh, facing you now, that one would be swung back in the way from the viewer. Okay. So basically straight back, once we mark the front with a chopstick or something, that branch would be dropped straight away from the viewer, directly back. And that okay. way it would look shorter. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Then the middle branch on the bottom of the canopy would be used for the primary structural branch. And that's below that one. Yep. Uh, if you'll rotate the tree, yep. the one below that. Yes, sir. Yes. That'll be one of your primary structural branches. Even though it's small now, it's in a good position and you can let it thicken over time. The actual, okay. the actual branches above that, the primary fork and the bigger branches up there, yep. Those are going to have to be reduced in size after they're wired to keep the canopy more tight because those are all getting quite rangy. Okay. I see. 